Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Okay guys, I know what you're thinking. What the hell does Bruce Lee have to do with making art? But to really explain this, we've got to go back. Way, way back. Do you remember when you first got into digital art? When you got your first Wacom tablet? So you get an idea for something and you're really excited. Before starting, you quickly sketch something on paper and it takes five minutes, but the flow, energy and lines are all there. Then you scan it in and begin to trace the lines. Finally, you can access all the digital tools you'd seen other artists online using. There's hundreds of new brushes to use. Layers, masks, control Z. You'd zoom into the pixel level. This was unheard of. You've never had so much control, so much power, so many tools. But somehow, after hours of pushing pixels, flipping the image and measuring proportions, that same energy wasn't there. The final image was a far cry from that original five minute sketch. Okay, I'm gonna show you my two cameras. So, this is my Canon G7X. It's, um, it shoots in 1080p, has a flip-up screen and an internal mic. Small, compact, and it's gotten the job done so far. But I felt like I need an upgrade. So, this is my new camera. So it's a Panasonic G80. Um, it's got 4K recording resolution, um, interchangeable lenses, you can attach an external mic to it. Basically that means my videos can have better visual quality, better audio quality, um, and it's just going to take my channel to a whole new level. So yeah, I'm super excited and can't wait to get stuck into it. Let's do this. I spent months learning how to use the camera. I made rookie mistakes. I filmed an entire video in HD, thinking it was 4K, only to get to the end of my edit and realise that it was in HD this whole time. The audio was all wrong. Then I realised I needed a haircut and I didn't like my delivery. Then I realised the composition was off. By this point, two months had passed. Finally, I was happy with the footage, but as I pieced the video together and watched it back, it was boring. Sure, it had crispy 4K footage, the right composition and a haircut I was happy with, but it sucked. I thought back to the time I first got into digital art and I realised that this was the same experience all over again. So what the heck was going on? Kick me. Kick me. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Try again. I said emotional content, not anger. Now try again with me. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. The moon and all its heavenly glory represent when you get something right. It's the creation of an illustration that is not only detailed, but captures the essence of that original sketch. Or the creation of a video that has beautiful visuals, but is also engaging, educational, inspiring, or moving. It's making something that hits the spot. 
But before you can achieve heavenly glory, you need the finger. And no, not that finger. The finger points the way. It's an important guide, but it's not everything. It's your tools, your theory, and your tutorials. It's the Wacom tablet, the layers, Control Z, Photoshop brushes. It's zooming into 500% and pushing pixels. It's a camera with 4K resolution and an external mic jack. Whatever discipline or area of life you apply this to, if you focus too much on the finger, you lose sight of the moon. There's so many individual elements that go into creating something great. And it's really easy to get lost down rabbit holes, trying to perfect and optimize each one. But each element alone is not enough to hit the spot. It's how they work together to connect with an audience and engage emotion. And so I realized that to create better art, I needed a better process. One where I wasn't always buried in the details. A process that involved careful reflection always remembering to come up for fresh air to evaluate how what I'm creating makes me feel. So yeah, that's what Bruce Lee taught me about making art. Hey guys, so this video has been a really accurate representation of the last two months. Like I've been working on stuff constantly for the channel and in my artwork, um, but I haven't been able to release anything because I've been so lost in the details and you know all the technical aspects that I lost sight of what makes something good and satisfying and enjoyable. Um, but I mean the good thing is that it's given rise to this video and these thoughts and these ideas and I hope you found them useful or enlightening or helpful for you. I'm aware that it is very abstract, so if this doesn't make sense or if you think it's weird or you know whatever feedback you have, leave it in the comments below. It'd be good to chat about it there. But other than that, it's great to see you guys. Um, everything is super awesome. My arm is getting stronger and stronger every day um, and I have a whole bunch of ideas for you guys. So I'm looking forward to it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.